Welcome to the first vlog of 2017, hopefully one of the many that will follow. Today we are taking a look at this mail item, it was sent free of charge by the guys from tronclub.com. They sent me an email and asked if I would like to take a look at one of their kits, and I said yes, I will give this a go. I'm not receiving any payment to do this video, it's just a free kit. From what I could read on their website, they make a bunch of different kits with different circuits and it's a subscription based service. So you sign up and each month they send you one of these kits with instructions to build a bunch of different circuits. The circuits start simple and become more challenging as you advance. By looking at their website, it looks like you can choose two types of uh, kits, basic ones and more advanced microcontroller ones and the subscription cost seems to be the same for these two. USA for example it's 25 bucks per month while Europe it's 25 euros per month. I'm not sure which kit they sent here but I expect it to be somewhat more advanced maybe a microcontroller based one certainly not a basic one. The kit was shipped from Canada and strangely enough it didn't go through the usual route. Packages coming from outside the EU go to a special postal office with custom service and that's why they take so long to arrive to me but this one came to the nearest postal office with no customs required so they must have thought it's some kind of regular mail that happens sometimes for small packages and when it happens i feel like i live in a normal country with decent postal service where stuff shipped from outside the eu arrives in two weeks time but Enough of me ranting, let's see what we get inside this kit. So we get the letter here. Hi Florian, we are so excited to be featured on your channel. In this package we've included kit number one of the advanced line. I think a lot of your subscribers are really going to like it. Maybe it will help them get started or back into programming. Okay, so uh, like I said they have two lines of kit, beginner and advanced. So far 12 kits in each line. 22 circuits you can build from each kit. Monthly subscription means you get a new kit each month. The circuit gets harder and harder as you move along with the kits. It, they can ship anywhere in the world and they have a flat rate of $25 per month, no extra fees. So thank you guys for sending this. Okay, some warnings in here, but we're not worried about those. Okay, so let's try to identify some of the parts we got in here. Let's see, first, this looks like one of those USB ASP programmers. So it's nice of them to include the programmer for the microcontroller. Let's set a row of pin headers. And this one is not marked, but clearly, oh, it's a 100K potentiometer. We get a small breadboard for building our circuits, some of these uh, jumper wires, let's see we got an LCD in here, this one looks to be a 20 by 4 if I'm not mistaken, yes I think it's a 20 by 4 uh, LCD display. See in here we have um, a CD 4094. Uh, some LEDs, what looks like a resistor network, what's this guy here, this is an 80 tiny 13 so this is our microcontroller, it's an Atmel microcontroller, some resistors, capacitors, a small uh, tactile switch, and let's see this other bag, contains some, uh, some of those uh, jumper links,
and I'm not sure what this uh, this thing right here is. Let's open this package. What did they put in here? These are like finger guards. So you're supposed to slip these things on while uh, working on the breadboard. Is this for, for safety or, and protection? Of course, we're not going to use any safety and protection gear on a breadboard. It's nothing really dangerous that can happen here. So for the actual instructions, we need to go online on their website and log in using this code to access the online booklet for building all the circuits in, in this kit. So let's uh, go onto the computer and try to do that. This is how their website looks. After you log in, you can see all the kits that have been shipped to you, I think. I only have one in the list to and to unlock the documentation, I have to enter the code I received on that small card together with the kit. After unlocking, you are able to access the full documentation. The documentation starts by showing you how to set up the environment with instructions for Windows and Mac. It's quite easy to follow these instructions. Myself, I didn't need to do anything because I already have the needed software installed. It's not the first time I'm programming Atmel AVR Micros. So after you have everything installed, you can start going through the different circuits and they start from the basic ones like blinking an LED, then they advance to more complicated stuff like using delays, timers, interrupts, the analog to digital convert converter, then they start using the shift register for talking to the LCD and it's all nicely explained. For this video, I just skip towards the end to uh, lesson 21 LCD thermometer which makes use of most of the parts provided in this kit. So after taking a look at their website and the associated documentation with this kit, I must say I'm impressed with the quality of the documentation. They have uh, really clear and concise instructions and they give you these uh, nice pictures of how everything should be laid out on the breadboard. They give you a nice uh, schematic where each signal is a, a different color so really easy to follow and I think this is really great for beginners it could really help them get started with uh, learning electronics for demonstration purposes I have picked uh, one of the more advanced circuits in, in this lesson so we are talking about a thermistor the microcontroller reads the temperature from the thermistor and displays it on the LCD screen because this ATtiny13 only has 6 I.O. pins, we are also going to be using this uh, 4095 shift register just to uh, be able to control more I.O. lines. So I'm going to start uh, building this circuit on the breadboard and this will be speed up. I finished wiring everything up. It was really easy to follow the uh, provided uh, schematic and picture. I only messed up a single uh, wire. It was the LCD contrast adjustment that of course goes to the wiper of the potentiometer. So I was getting nothing on the display but it was actually the first thing I thought about checking and yeah it was uh, placed on the wrong pin on the breadboard. So after I fixed that the uh, display started showing the correct characters and it, it's actually working it's showing the temperature measured by this uh, very small bead thermistor right here programming the microcontroller went according to plan i just um, opened a command prompt and went into the uh, directory con containing the project files i wrote uh, make flash and in probably three to four seconds the the whole program was compiled and flashed on the 80 tiny microcontroller so it went really really smooth 
just according to the instructions. I can only mention one negative thing about this uh, kit. I had to use uh, uh, wires from my own uh, uh, wire kit because there weren't enough provided with the kit. And that might be a problem with beginners because if this is the only thing they, they, they purchase and they don't have any extra wires um, and they, they uh, advance up to the, these more advanced lessons that require more wiring on the breadboard, they will not have enough wires to complete the circuit. Now, of course, the uh, programmer doesn't need to be connected uh, all the time. You could use some of the other wires to program the microcontrollers, the microcontroller, and then remove the wires from the programming header and use them to make uh, other connections. But wires are so inexpensive, I think they could include um, just six or eight more wires in, in the kit. So a couple of uh, final words about this uh, kit. I really like the, the way it's assembled. It's, it's, it has really nice documentation that you can follow easily and everything works as expected. Also, I like the, the way they uh, structured the projects from easy to uh, more difficult ones and you can advance and you can learn as you go. That's really nice for beginners. And also, um, I like the way that they combine different elements, like uh, they use a microcontroller, they use a shift register, they have a potentiometer, a thermistor in the kit, so you can play with, uh, with the ADC of the microcontroller to read some values. You also have an, uh, an LCD for uh, displaying stuff, so it's really good combination of uh, different uh, uh, areas of the uh, microcontroller or the electronics in general that are used inside a single kit. So that was all for today. Check out their website if you're interested and I will see you next time.